22-year-old Ronald Jolin came to Laconia Superior Court Thursday to face charges of felonious sexual assault involving someone between 13 and 16. He also faces a prostitution charge. This was uh, an instance where he walked in of his own uh, free will. Bail had previously been set uh, by a bail commissioner, and so we continued bail um, as it was previously set. Jolin worked with his public defender behind closed doors and never appeared before a judge. The reason why there is no appearance is because both the defendant and the state have agreed to conditions that we feel um, uh, satisfy uh, what's what the main goals are when it comes to bail. Factors like whether or not the public is safe and whether Jolin is a flight risk. He's released on his own personal recognizance. Um, he will have a curfew. He's banned from using any, any electronic devices and he will have no contact with the victim. For the time being, unless he violates one of those bail conditions, those will be the conditions throughout the remainder of the case. We did approach Jolin and his family here in court today, but they don't want to comment on the alleged incident at this time. The father of the alleged victim who wants to remain anonymous says his daughter spoke with Jolin through social media before being sexually assaulted. Prosecutors wouldn't comment on the details but say developments in this case could happen within 90 days. Cases like this, um, there's a certain time deadline that we have to meet that we'll have to present to a grand jury for indictment later on um, and then some court dates will be set after if there is an indictment. In Laconia, Kristen Carosa, WMUR News 9.